Hola! Welcome back to Iron Morana TV and before I show you this look that I come up with perfect for fall, I'm very excited because I want to let you guys know first that I am giving away one of the BH Party Girls! If you're following me on Twitter or on my Facebook, you should know that I love this product. I love this palette a lot. It actually replaces my Naked palette. Naked One, by the way. Um, Naked One palette is my ultimate favorite palette. Like, I bring it everywhere I go. When I travel, I use it every single day. It's good for every day. It's good for smoky. This palette right here replaces it and it costs a fraction of Naked palette. So, I'm giving away one of these, which is I use for this look pretty much everything especially the eye makeup by the way this this giveaway is this giveaway is for my existing um, subscribers that means if you're not a subscriber and you just see this video feel free to subscribe there's still a lot of give giveaways um, in the future but this giveaway right here because there's only one winner I am giving this away to my existing subscriber because I wanna I wanna what you call this? I wanna treat my loyal subscriber and yeah so enjoy to join you don't have to do anything because I already have all the list of my existing subscribers just I don't know, like this video I guess and comment down below what looks you want me to do next and that's it. Let's move on to the tutorial. So I already applied my shadow work by Coastal Sands. I applied it all over my lid as well as on my lower lash line. Now I'm going to take a flat brush like this and this really beautiful color, coppery, brownish, purplish um, color and apply it all over my lid and really pack it on then I'm gonna go create a straight line like so and then connect it then I'm gonna go get a fluffy blending brush like this and kind of blend that edges Right, once it's already blended out, kinda, I'm gonna go take this brownish color right here and place it on top of it. Now, I'm gonna go get a dome brush like so and take this color right here. Make sure to top off the excess because you don't want a lot of products on your brush and place it right on top of the brown that you just applied earlier and at the same time blend the colors too. Just like that. Then I'm gonna go ahead and get another blending brush. This is Sigma E25 and take this color right here a little darker. Top off the excess. And I'm just going to place it on the outer V of my crease here. I'm going to start from the in outer corner. Pack the color. And then slowly blend it inwards. Just like that. Right, I'm gonna go ahead and get that blending brush again without any more products. I'm gonna go ahead and blend it even more. Now for my highlight, just take any vanilla shadow that you have, place it on the highest arch of your brow first, and then blend it out and in. 
and then blending brush again to blend the color even more for a better transition. Now usually I do a cut eye but this time I'm not doing a cut eye. I'm just going to line my, um, my lid as close to my lashes as possible. And then also I'm going to line my waterline but extend it on the outer third of my lower lash line like so. And just kind of um, top halfway and then I'm going to go ahead and line my waterline too all the way in. Next I'm going to go take my pencil brush in this deep brown color from my Pride palette and just smudge that eyeliner but stop halfway as for the rest of my lower lash line I'm gonna go take the same um, corally shimmery orange that I applied on my crease earlier and place it starting from the inner corner connecting to the brown color that I applied earlier. Just like that. Now I'm going to go ahead and apply my mascara and my false lashes and I'll be right back. I contour my face like always with NYX Matte Bronzer in Deep Tan and also I use my Krylon Blush Palette and I use this color right here. It's 07 075 it's kind of like peachy um, earthy color anyways now for my lips I will be using NYX dark lipstick like this it's in snow white and I will be using my BH cosmetics lip brush with this you can go ahead and um, use any nude color it will also go perfectly with this look but um, I, I like to use warm dark tone color because it's fall. And that's pretty much it for this look. It's really nice, really warm, perfect for fall. And I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Bye!